So this is again, it's our fifth case on an emergency Sunday morning, and this is a very sad case. It's a blue and this little baby has a blue and gold macaw. It's really cute. You've got the little head. This is what a this is what a healthy baby bird looks like. Its little beak, its eyes, its head. This is what they look like before their feathers. And the breeder who's brought it to us is very experienced and really good. You can actually see there's a lot of food in the crop, so he's feeding it appropriately. What you can't really see, but you'll get an idea. This is this is this this is the stomach or the gizzard, and that's the proventriculus. And what we what we noticed when we um, did the autopsy. So this just suddenly died. This bird suddenly died, as far as I know. But what I noticed when I opened up the stomach or the proventriculus, there was tons and tons of fibers, tiny fibers, and they were blocking and obstructing. So this little bird probably ate its bedding. So this little bird's kept in a, in a tub and there's bedding around and it ate all its bedding and it caused an obstruction. And there's still a little bit more inside here. Yeah? We've got this bedding material. It caused an obstruction so the bird died. So I'll be telling the owner to be very careful. I'll actually send him, we'll send some of this back to him. And uh, you can kind of see the stuff's just been... It's... it's, it's it's it won't it doesn't pass through and that's why you can also see this is the crop remember the crop is a storage organ in a bird you can see it's massive so he's crop fed the bird all the fluid stayed here but nothing went through and interestingly the lungs are clear so the bird didn't aspirate crop material it just ate some bedding and you can see the benefit the owner will be very happy because by showing him why the bird died He'll be able to prevent the death of other little blue and gold macaws that he's raising. And what I'd like you to also look at is this funny little chicken. Chicken wings, chicken. He's going to turn out that massive, beautiful South American parrot that uh, we all look at in awe. And uh, it's pretty sad, but his death, we will use this death to save as many other birds as we can. So what do we think the bedding was that he was using? So that we'd have to see, but there's some kind of shavings, wood shavings in here. There's wood shavings that he's been eating. You can actually see they're very solid. Um, what we can do is actually, what I might do is, um, you know, if I, if I clean one, if I clean one of these things, we might get a better view of it. So I've sprayed it and I've cleaned it, but you can actually see. It's like pine shavings. It's pine shavings, and he's just swallowing lots and lots of them. Um, so now it's very obvious that you can see what he's been eating. So what's a better bedding? You know, a lot of guys. Might be too thick. A lot of guys are using this, this paper cat litter. They're using cat litter that's made from recycled paper. But they're various things. But I'm not sure if there was some kind of reason that the bird's eating all this stuff. But um, um, very sad when you're getting these uh, a little bird without any choice. Obviously, we don't blame a bird. Um, but this is something that won't pass through and it's very solid. Um, so. Um, yeah. The world goes on. We're very happy that we can tell an owner why this bird died. And, and just to, save more. Yes, save more. And just take a look what a baby bird looks like. You know, we don't normally don't get a chance to see it. So the food goes into the mouth. They swallow it and it goes into the esophagus. Then the esophagus has an enlargement called the crop, where, which is where, birds, where parrots and chickens save their food for later to digest. From there, it goes through the esophagus into a stomach called the proventriculus, which is this here. Now, the proventriculus is the same stomach we have. It's got acid, it digests food. But what birds have got that we don't have, they've got something called a gizzard. This is a gizzard. It's a thick, muscular stomach. It's going to, as the bird grows, this will be very thick and muscular. And that's how they grind the seed up and actually break it up. And that's why most of your parrots want to eat shell grit or, or, or stones, because it actually grinds it. It breaks and crushes it. And then the intestines are pretty much the same as in, as, as in humans or dogs and cats. There's starts off as in colon, duodenum. So it goes from duodenum to large to um, large intestine to small intestine. Sorry, duodenum, small intestine, large intestine. Uh, what I can show you guys here is... There doesn't seem to be much blood like what people would expect. Would that be normal? Well, it died, yeah. There's very little blood. That's the liver. You can see that's the lungs. He has, he has the heart. I mean, how cute is this? This is, I mean, uh, that's the heart and they're all little arteries coming off the heart. Sorry, baby. 